Hello everyone, and welcome to SCO Academy's tutorial for creating a simple CSS rollover button. We're going to start by defining our CSS style for our button. Create a new CSS class called dot button. So next we're going to define the color of the text that will appear on the button with the color property. Then we'll define the fill color of our button with the background property. Let's choose red, which is represented here with F00. Now let's move on to the actual HTML markup for our button. Insert a new CSS division into the HTML or div as it's referred to in CSS language. Call the dot button class from above. Now we're going to type the text that we want to appear on the face of the button. Let's preview the final output. This is what your final output will look like. And you'll notice the output doesn't look anything like an actual button yet. So the next thing we're going to do is adjust the size by using float left command. This adjusts the size of the button container to fit the text. Now add some padding around the text so it doesn't touch the border of the button. And we'll decorate our button with a different font type and make it bold so it stands out. Here's where we come to the actual rollover part of the button. First, let's define how the button acts when the mouse hovers over the button. Pick a different background color. You're going to want to pick a different text color. Let's see how it looks now. Now you'll see the button is behaving like it should when we position the mouse cursor over it, but watch what happens when we try to add a hyperlink. The font on the button returns to the default setting. So to fix that, we'll define the style of all the hyperlinks inside our button. Remove the underline by setting the text decoration property to none. Replace the blue color by setting the color property to FFF, which is white like it was when we first started. You can also play a bit with decorating the button by giving it some style. For example, you can add rounded corners with a border radius property. And then adding a thin gray border on the top to give it a more 3D look. You can explore more options that CSS gives you by yourself. Just be mindful that not all CSS features are supported by all browsers. And with that, you've created your first simple rollover button. For more tutorials and virtual courses, 
subscribe to our channel and visit us online at seo.academy.